Hey everyone, time for some real talk. Welcome to Just About Vegan 51, and if you've been here before, welcome back. Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel and giving me a thumbs up if you like the content. So, I've been finding out so many things in this vegan journey. Um, as some of you know, or all of you may know, I just completed in December taking the Forks Over Knives whole food plant-based cooking course through the Ruby um, uh, website. And I learned a lot of things. Um, I'm much better using a knife now. I've learned about combining flavors, um, layering them because we're, I'm trying to use less salt. And so finding fa flavor profiles Nothing substitutes for salt, I don't care what anyone says, but you can find flavor profiles that kind of take your mind off the fact that there's no salt. And I found things that I really don't like. Now, I knew, and forgive me for saying this out loud, but I absolutely hate cilantro. Don't like to smell it, don't like to taste it. So that keeps me from um, eating some dishes because they have cilantro in them and I can taste it in a stew, one piece. I just absolutely dislike it. I don't like lentils and I didn't really know that until I started this vegan journey. Um, and I kind of feel that I'm slighted because so many recipes start out with lentils or use lentils as a base for a soup or a stew. And while I'll eat them, I'm never going to intentionally cook them because I really don't like them. I don't know why, but I, I just don't. I have not liked mushrooms, fresh mushrooms, particularly uh, portobello and very meaty large mushrooms in probably f close to 40 years. Long story why I didn't, I, I stopped liking them but I have never started again. I don't like the smell of them. Um, I will eat dried mushrooms. I will eat them in soups and stews if they're not the big kind of meaty uh, mushrooms like portobello and others that kind of have that mushroom texture and taste. I just don't like it. And again, I look at so many recipes every day and what is the base? Mushrooms. Now, I have purchased and have used some dried mushrooms and for some reason, um, I'm able to tolerate them in a soup or a stew. But to saute mushrooms in a pan or to you know air fry them or do the other things people do, never gonna happen because I don't like them. So um, those are two kind of the lentils and the mushrooms seem to be kind of staples in um, a vegan and whole food plant-based diet that I will have to do without. But having said that, there are tons of other things out there to eat. And um, I am trying to expose myself to many of those items. I made my first mac and cheese, and that's not something that I eat on a regular basis for a variety of reasons. I didn't eat the real mac and cheese. And I probably won't eat this because most of the bases require you to use um, either uh, cashews or um, the vegan versions of cheese. And the reason that I'm staying away from them is because of the high fat content. So that will be an occasional um, a, occasional addition to my meal. But I did make some, thank you Tabitha Brown, although I didn't find a specific recipe, I used the ingredients that Tabitha Brown used in her cheese sauce and it came out pretty good. My non-vegan husband ate it. So I am finding things that I like, I'm finding things that I don't like, and I'm kind of building my own uh, vegan repertoire. Uh, so stay tuned, there, there are things that I may be exposed to. Oh, and I did eat mushrooms um, at the Blueberry Cafe in Newark, New Jersey. Shout out to the Blueberry Cafe vegan restaurant. 
and the Zucchini Bar, shout out to them, next door, uh, both run by the same people. And actually, I got a meal from the Zucchini Bar, which I think I mentioned earlier, which was um, the, the base of, it was a sandwich with fried mushrooms. And I got to tell you, I really enjoyed it. Um, you know, I put aside my reservations for a minute and found something very delicious to eat. If you're in this area, um, please try both of those restaurants because they have good vegan food. So that's all for now. Thank you for visiting Just About Vegan 51. Please consider subscribing to my station and I'll see you soon. Bye.